Welcome to my channel. My name is Ileana, also known as More Than Cleaning. Today, I will be taking you all along with me to do a deep cleaning in my mom's unit as her old tenants moved out and we are getting it ready for new tenants. What we are actually doing is more considered of a move out clean. You might be asking yourself, well, what's the difference from a move out clean and a deep clean? So in a deep clean, you have a list of things that you want to go more in depth of cleaning, not just surface cleaning. For example, for my clients, I have a list of things that I clean for them on regular maintenance cleanings. And I also have a deep cleaning list for when they want a deep cleaning done. And that's, again, a separate charge because you're doing more than what you usually do to maintain the home. Typically, you want to do a deep clean in your home maybe once or twice a year. It really does depend on you, how tidy you are, if you have kids or pets, it, how dirty you get it, if you live in you know, the hills, all of that matters. Now, let's go into what a move out clean means. Well, a move out clean literally means that someone has moved out and now you are having to clean and get it ready for a new person to come in and live in the unit. So this means that this new person is going to have all of their things being put into closets or cabinets. They're going to use the stove, the shower. So even though you are doing like a deep clean, now you're getting every single thing in the home. But there's no furniture in it, <laughs> right? It's funny because some people think, well, there's no furniture involved. It's going to be so much easier. But in reality, sometimes that's what makes it 10 times harder because you're having to clean off walls, scuffs. You're having to dust off the walls first, then clean them off just to take off any stains. You're cleaning the outer parts of the cabinets as well as the inside of each cabinet. If there is appliances, you're cleaning from the outside, behind, you're moving everything, and you're cleaning all the way inside. So in this case, it would be like the stove inside the fridge, the top of the fridge, the top of the cabinet. So in some cases, I've even had to clean the ceilings because a lot of people use a lot of grease. So it's a lot of work. <laughs> That being said, no matter how tired I am at the end of the day of doing these deep cleanings or move out cleanings, have you, I love it because you get to see this huge transformation. You get to see a beautiful before and after that typically on maintenance cleans or weekly cleanings or biweekly cleanings that I do, I don't get to see that. So yes, I am beat, but I get beautiful before and afters, which makes for great content. This is now the third time I've had to do like a move out clean for my mom for when tenants leave. And let me tell you, every single time there has been something that amazes me. By now, as a professional house cleaner, I think I could say, oh, I've seen it all. But no, there is something that always ceases to amaze me. So in the first one, it was like dust and dust balls that were like massive that I could not, I've never seen in my life, right? It was just everywhere. The second one was like grease, like the amount of grease that I cleaned off the ceilings. Oh my gosh. It was just like, did they never open windows or <laughs> use, you know, the, the vent? I, I don't know, but that was insane. And for this one, it was the flies, <laughs> hundreds of flies on the windowsill. I was in shock. We were, you know, we, there was like a weird smell when we went in and I told my mom, let's open the windows just to like air it out so that tomorrow when we come in clean, you know, it doesn't smell funky. So we pull up the blinds and as we're pulling them up, we see hundreds of flies. My mom and I were just in shock. We were in shock. I have never seen that in my life. We didn't know at the time that the reason that that <laughs> was happening was because I'm assuming this was the reason. Again, I we didn't ask the old tenants, but as we got to the part of the fridge, I felt this huge, you know, foul odor. And as I'm cleaning away, I start to really get down to the smell and it was blood, like old, you know, I could smell it. It was like metal and I started to see it on the rag. And it wasn't like it was very visible, but it was like on the cracks. And again, like I said, we're doing a very huge deep clean. So that means we're taking everything out of the fridge 
and all of the, you know, basket things and all of the shelves and we're cleaning them. And so I get to one that's like kind of stuck. And so as I'm cleaning it and cleaning all the nooks and crannies, I see the blood. Mind you, I have a very sensitive stomach. <laughs> I don't do well with odors, which which is funny because I'm a house cleaner, but I don't. I don't do well with odors. And so my mom had to <laughs> bite the bullet. I said, mom, I love you. And I will clean anything else you want me to clean. I just don't, I can't clean this. But as we're going along, we're seeing that. And the fridge was maybe like, I want to say 20 inches away from this window. So I'm hoping what happened was they maybe potentially bought, right, meat. They let it defrost in the fridge and it may have leaked all over the fridge. And so they probably came home that afternoon and there was a ton of flies. I don't know what else to say. Can't say that that's what happened for sure, but that's that's what I'm hoping happened. Because if not, you know, all these people kept saying, well, was there a dead body? No, there wasn't a dead body. But then again, they also had a bag of old moldy bread. <laughs> attached to the back of the fridge. So I don't know. Again, I am not here to judge. I just think it's really funny. <laughs> but of all the things that we find, and I am just now every single time, never amazed because I always find something new. So let's talk products now, right? Because we're obviously making this place look beautiful and shine like new because that's what we want, right? It's for a new, new tenant. So usually, yeah, I do have like a set of a list of liquids I use for maintenance cleanings, right? This means that those houses are being cleaned on a regular basis, whether it be weekly or biweekly or even once a month. So those houses are not as dirty. When I am doing a deep clean or I'm going to go do a deep clean or move out clean, you already know that that list is going to change. Will there be some similarities in products? 100%. But some of the products obviously will change. Why? Because sometimes they haven't cleaned the stove in months, right? So it's like fully stuck on. Or they have grease that's stuck on. So I need something that's like a high intense grease remover. In this case, I also needed to go back to the store and actually find something that removed smells. What does that mean? Um, I heard somebody say, well, in order for something to smell clean, it has to smell like certain liquids. No, false. Clean actually has no scent, right? When something is clean, it's new. It doesn't smell like anything. If something is dirty, yes, you can tell because it has a bad smell to it, a bad odor, right? Now, if you use products that have a scent to it, that's just an added bonus for you to come in and smell the clean. And then on top of that smell whatever scent you like, whether it be lavender or lemon or citrus, you know, whatever it is that you like, but clean doesn't have a scent. What's the difference? That means if something is dirty and you just put order on it, you can still smell that it's dirty, but it just has a scent to it. Well, I'm assuming that the house smelled bad for them because of the blood that they dropped or spilled. And so they were using a lot of, I don't know what type, uh, whether it was, it was one of those that you plug in. I don't know what brand it was. And so the house just had like a smell to it mixed with like blood and like whatever the scent was. No matter how many times, I, I'm telling you, I cleaned the walls. I want to say like twice, I still smelled something. It just smelled to me. And I wanted, you know, again, I'm not going to live here, but I wanted the person to come in to see the place, be happy with it and come in and not smell whatever it is we were smelling. And so I went to the store and I bought Zep antibacterial disinfectant. And in it specifies along with so many other things that it cleans and disinfects and, you know, sanitizes, it has an odor remover attachment to it. So I don't like buying a lot of products that have this huge smell to it because then I you're just masking the smell. I want it to smell like clean or nothing at all if I can possible, right? This was my first time using this specific product from this brand. I use so many other products from Zep. You will always see me in almost every video using something from them. It's amazing. They sell it either at Home Depot 
or Lowe's or even I'll, I'll have a lot of their stuff on my Amazon storefront for you guys. But their stuff is amazing. But this time it was the first time using this and I 100% will be adding it to my stuff that I use on weekly or bi-weekly places because the scent of lemon was very subtle and the fact that it's an odor eliminator, that is something that appeals to me 100%, especially for a lot of my clients that have pets. And if you guys have pets, you already know, no matter what, sometimes the house can smell, you know, like pets or dogs or whatever, especially if they go outside. So it's 100% made it to my caddy. I love it. So I feel like I've been talking forever. So I'll let you guys enjoy a little bit of the cleaning. And again, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments. Like, what was I using? How did I do this or how did I do that? Let me know. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. But see, like, this is what I'm talking about. In a deep clean, I probably would have just cleaned the outside unless it was requested to do the inside. But see, for a move out clean, they're going to want to put their stuff in a clean space. So I'm doing every nook and cranny, the knobs, the tops, the bottoms, the insides, every single thing is getting cleaned.
Now, don't forget to clean the AC vent stuff or the ceiling fan. I see a lot of people always forget to clean that. But those are very important. Why? Because those are the things you're going to be using. And if you're going to be using them, it's going to be spitting out air. You want to be breathing, you know, as much clean air as possible. When it came time to doing the flies, yeah, I didn't want to vacuum any of that up. I just, I don't know, something, it just didn't feel right. So I had to basically like sweep them up and throw them away. I was done with that. It came time for me to have to clean the blinds and I just gave a look to my mom. I don't know what look I gave her that she looked at me and said, you know what, let's just throw them away. And I looked at her and I said, well, what are you going to do? Buy new, you know, new blinds? She goes, no, let's just put curtains up. And that way, every time a tenant moves out, I'll just take them and toss them and put new curtains up. I looked at her and I said, okay, thank you, mommy. <laughs> right? Because these used to take me about an hour each and they're just such a hassle. I hate blinds. I hate them with a passion. Don't know why the old tenant had moved the two closets. To me, it just made more sense to put them together. It looks nicer, right? A little more feng shui. And see this, this is what I'm talking about, the top of the fan. You're going to have this going on in the summer. So again, don't forget to take out the light fixtures and clean those off as well. And a quick note, how often are you moving your appliances, whether it be the fridge, the stove, you know, I don't know what else you have in as far as like an appliance goes in your kitchen, but how often are you moving them? Yes, let me know in the comments. Um, I would suggest maybe doing it every six months, um, maybe even once a year. I wanted to take a second and say that if you don't have a mop bucket, it is 100% okay. I used about five different rags and just kept flipping them over and then did it all over again. I probably did this twice and look at how shiny those floors are. So it's okay if you don't have a mop bucket. I would try to put all of the supplies that I used on my bio, um, but if for some reason I miss one, which I have done in the past, I'm human, go ahead and leave it in the comments and I'll go ahead and respond to you as well. And there you have it, guys. This is the after. It looked amazing and I think it turned out great. And again, remember, if you liked this content and you want to see more of it or you want to see something different, let me know in the comments. And if you like the content, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you and every like helps. Love you guys. Bye.